Hello world, Joe Mallon, American Roof Expert coming to you from South Denver. So I want to go over something super simple with you that's going to make you think, but it's kind of technical too, okay? And this is for you guys out there that are using Spotio, but then you might have hail recon too. So you're sitting there and you're, you, your company or whoever you're working for has a big hail recon um, interactive hail map account. And then what I do is I make sure that I would always forever for the rest of my life have Spotio, right? Or some sort of some sort of app like that. And with those apps, you can build out territories. Watch what I do with these territories. This is so cool. And I've been doing this for years and it makes it so I'm never going through neighborhoods where I'm not sure of myself. Check this out. All right, guys. Um we're in Little Rock. Arkansas. So today we're banging in Little Rock and I don't bang in Little Rock ever. So I've never been here, never know, but I got Hell Recon up and I've got my Spotio account. Okay. Now this is kind of, um, this is nerdy. Okay. This is very, very nerdy. And don't ask me how I figured this out, but you know, I want to know where I'm knocking, right? So if I'm going through neighborhoods, I want to make sure that I'm going through the neighborhoods that are in this area right here, right? So see, look up here again. We got 1.25. All this is one inch. Over three inch. Over two inch. I know what y'all are thinking. I'm going to use this date. Well, here's the thing. It's uh, April 25th, 2011. So this storm is way too old for you to be able to hunt on and i did that on purpose so that uh the guy that owns hell recon is not going to get mad at me and y'all need to buy this program and stop being cheap you know it's ridiculous that y'all don't have this program if you're a roofer in america and you don't have this program um oh man what i want to say is too bad for television, so I'm not going to say it. Um, you're cock blocking yourself. There you go. You're a cock blocker of yourself. All right, so this is what I did. If you look at 440, now watch this. 440 is in the exact same spot. So I used this, and I got myself to exactly where this line was for this, this line right here, okay? So I'm in territories. I'm in the map. I go into territories. Now here's the thing about Spotio is you can build territories for your salespeople. So if you work at AT&T or something like that, then you want to build a territory for your area, right? And then that way you don't have fighting salespeople. So you might want to put two guys in one corridor of Little Rock and then two guys in the northeast and then two guys in the east, um, f far east, and then, or northeast side, and then southeast side, and then all the way around. And then that way, you know, when they're going out and they're pinning all these roofs, they're inside their little area because you don't want a gang war. You know, you don't want for your sales guys to be like, well, he's going into my territory. But here's the thing. When you're a roofer, you don't really care about territories, right? You care about where the hail's at. So when you use Spotio and you put it with hell, hell, interactive hell maps or hell recon, then you can draw. Okay, so here we go. You're just going to see how I do this, okay? Um, see how it says drawing? Little Rock. I'm going to go here, and I'm going to go here, and that's one inch. That's three inch or larger. It's one point. Okay, so here we go. We're going to do one inch to three inch plus. Okay, now here's the thing. It's already on drawing. I do not care about 0.5, right? Because 0.5 inch hail is not going to create damage, 
right? This could, right, this one inch, this could, this one point, okay? But here's what I want to do. I'm going to go here. I'm going to go here. I'm going to go there. And you see this right here? See that tip right there? I just want to put my finger on the tip right there. Okay, I'm right there. So boom. Boom. All right, and I'm going to hit this. And I'm going to go down to where the H is, right? So the top part of the H, the top part of the H. Boom. And I'm going to go back here, and I'm going to go to the upper echelon of the K, the upper echelon of the K. Boom. Then I'm going to go, see how I can't see? So I'm going to go right about here, right? Right about there. Keep your eye on it right about there. See what I'm doing? All right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go down to here. So where was the K? The K is there. Let's there. Did we already put a, a, a thing there? Yep. All right. So now let's go down to the top part of the S. The top part of the S. Boom. And now we're going to go to the bottom part of the five. Boom. And then we're going to go to the S again, right? Boom. All right, now we're going to go to right there, okay? Right there. Then we're going to go to where it forks. Where it forks. I do this everywhere that I live. That way when I'm out, I know where the hail is. One, right there there, right there, a little bit over the A, a little bit over the A, you see that's a body of water so a little bit over is fine, you know, you're not going to miss anything, and then I'm going to go a little bit over the W, a little bit over the W, I'm going to go to the top of the R, the top of the R. And then I'm going to go down to there. I'm going to go down to there. And then I'm going to go over to there. I'll stop talking now. Okay, I'm just going to cut this off, right? So now I'm going to go to the B. And then I'm going to go to... Back up to here. Now I'm going to go... Probably just go right next to the seven, a little bit further over. Right next to the seven. Might be off a little. Doesn't even matter. And I'm gonna go down. In there. Then I'm gonna go up to the eye. To the eye. Then I'm going to go over. There. And I'm going to go That's where my eye was. See right there where that little line is right there. Okay. Now let's go up to this right here. So it looks like it's right in the fork. Which fork is that? Okay. 
Now let's go down. Connect it. Okay, so there's 469,000 pins in there. Okay, now here's the most important thing. You've done all that work, which was shitty. Okay, hit save. Okay, see how there's 28 territories? That that's the territories that I need to know about where I live. So there's really 27 because this isn't even real. But now let's go here and let's turn it to satellite. And let's go in. See all that? All those houses? All those. So if you do this with a date that is better, better suited to uh, closer to... Uh, to your date, you know, then you can show your sales guys on Spotio where they need to hunt. So you know for a fact that if they hunt inside any of these houses, there's going to be hail damage, you know, and it, it just, it completely and totally changes um, where to find the houses. Like, you know that it's inside the hell region, right? So you pin the pin, and then you go in. You pin the pin, you go in. And that's the biggest thing about this whole thing is like, as soon as you know where to hunt, you can clean up. And then what you can do is you can take the, okay, buy this. Buy hell recon, okay? Then look for newer dates. See how there was nothing here. It's not bad enough. When it's in, when it's bad, it's in red. One, that's nothing. So I'm giving y'all no information. You need to buy, buy Hell Recon. So you call Mike up and you're like, hey man, let me buy this. And he's going to charge you like 600 bucks for Arkansas or $600 for Colorado or $600 for whatever. Or you can go up or you can go up to the whole, to the whole country. So obviously I'm messing with one that's on the whole country, right? But when I'm messing around with the one that's on the whole country... Um, you have to add a certain thing and then it makes it so you can go into those houses and you can find the addresses like what I was teaching you before. So if we go in here and then we go to satellite, boom, 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 boom. So you click on that. And then you go, just like in module one, you click on that and then you say, um, find the information and then you grab those people's phone numbers, you know, and then you can call those people or you can just go out there and knock. But if you take this and then you, you click contr control shift three. It's going to take a picture of the whole thing and then print it out, you know, and then when you get out to their house, say, hey, you're in this area right here. Let me check your roof. Hey, you're in this area right here. Let me check your roof. But you need a, a real date you, because if you call the insurance company and you say it happened on April 25th, 2011, they're going to laugh you. They're going to freaking laugh. It needs to be within two years or the insurance company there's a statue of limitations, you know? So think about that, guys. Think about what I just showed you. Build these things out, you know? And if you have a sales crew and your sales crew doesn't know where the hail is and you're not showing them where the hail is, 
then you're an idiot. And I'm not trying to be mean. But now you know. And if you know certain things and you don't do the right thing and you don't give your people, um, see what that is? Little Rock. I should have put the date right there too, right? So you put Little Rock and then you put the date, which would have been, what was it? Uh, April 25th, 2011. And then you put one to three inch because if Sue is new and she starts working for you and she needs to know the date of the storm, she can just look on freaking Spotio. Think about it. It's unbelievable. And then you can see all the pins that she's got. This, go to the link in the description. Hit that. Hit it. Go to the training. Spend hours there. Learn. It's free. It's free. You know why I did that? Because it's free. Did he just say free? He said free. Oh my God, why would he do something like that for free? So everybody can do it. Everybody. So to me, here's the truth, okay? If you're trying to get leads off of Hell Recon, then Spotio has the same thing, right? It just costs a little tiny bit more. You can get the phone numbers, you can get everything that you need. If you're working for a big company and they've got Hell Recon, then you don't need your own Hell Recon. You should just have your own Spotio, right? And to me, that is the asset. You know, the asset is to be able to pull it and go wherever you need to go. And that way you don't have to worry about someone else being able to take all your information, all your sales, all your leads, everything like that. You get to keep them as a salesperson or whatever you are, you know. And I know that the sales managers are probably going to get pissed off at me. Um, Hell Recon, I love it. I love that app. Um, interactive hell maps. I mean, it, it's it's it it changed my view of roofing once I got it, but it it's expensive as hell, you know. So if you get into a position where you're having a hard time, or um, it's February and you sign up for Hell Recon, and next February you're you're you know you're three months into not really working very much. What are you going to do, you know? And then to get rid of all those pens and those leads is crazy, you know? Or if you fire yourself and start your own thing, what's going to happen to your leads? I know I'm beating a dead horse. Hopefully this makes a lot of sense. Hopefully it wasn't too technical. I know it's going to take a second, but you can probably do it while you're watching whatever show you're watching. I can watch stuff on TV and do point and click, point and click. Like, that way everything's clean. You know, see, I see, I don't know. That keeps showing up. I keep seeing that. And then look at this. See, I got that the other day. I got bit by a spider or something. Super strange. I'm not used to seeing myself on camera. Kind of strange. Kind of. God. I must be getting old or something. Peace.